So with the recent landing of the Curiosity on Mars, space exploration is more exciting than ever. So what's more nerdy than the galaxy? Yay! Exploration <laughs> of space! So today we're going to do a lovely galaxy eye makeup that's fit for the runway or possibly a convention. So this is going to be more of a full face mask, a little bit more like something that would walk the runway than something you'd wear out of your house, so it's perfect for conventions or a costume party. Or Carl Sagan appreciation days. So what I'm doing right now is I'm with just a regular Sephora brand black eyeliner. I'm outlining um, where the sort of mask is going to be. I'm going about a half an inch under the, um, the eye line. I'm a raccoon. Sort of like a raccoon. <laughs> but like oh, a sorry. sexy raccoon. Can raccoons be sexy? I, I mean, I'm sure that girls on Halloween have tried. Um, and I'm just sort of blending the edges just a little bit so it doesn't look like a super harsh line. And as you can tell, I'm not going in a dip with the eyebrow. It's going to look a little less superhero. When I was a teenager, I wrote fan fiction about Sailor Galaxy. I bet you did. <laughs> it's a little off kilter. <laughs> Over I'm here, a derpy superhero. Over here at One Up Makeup, we uh, experiment a little bit. This is more of a experimental piece, and so I'm going to start right here, just getting the eyes colored. And this is really, really not how you would do actual going out everyday eye makeup. I don't know why I started coloring in here. Sometimes you'll get inspiration. You'll get fits of inspiration. You want to follow it, and then you'll. You'll do it and then you'll regret it. I'm feeling more cosmic already. I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, Sephora. It's not even Sephora. It is Sephora brand primer. Not Urban Decay, like everyone in our channel uses, but just much like everyone else, you put it on with your fingers. Because you have 10 of them. Now that we have this sort of outline, I'm going to take some plaque. <laughs> oh god! Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I would do this. I would be the one that completely screws it up. Pro tip, when you use loose powder, um, don't just fling it everywhere. Because it will... <laughs> like I just did there, because it will fling everywhere. So I'm using a bit of loose powder to fill in under the eye. If you know anything about space, you know it is not one color. It's just starting with the black and we're gonna fill in with the colors afterwards. Right now, I feel a little bit like Bob Ross. I feel like I am painting a happy tree. The thing about Bob Ross that I liked was that he just sort of painted what he wanted, what sort of just popped into his mind. I think you look awesome with the fro. Should be your next look. Just go to the salon and be like, I want a Bob Ross. I want the, I want the Bob Ross, please. <laughs> One, one Bob Ross. <laughs> this has nothing to do with us. Uh, uh, you know what, Bob Ross has everything to do with the universe. We're gonna come in with this palette, which is full of some really high pigment colors. <laughs> this is very stuck to that. My universe and my head is really purple. My galaxy, so I'm going to start with some purples and sort of following the curve of her eye. And the cool thing about the galaxy is it's not, it's, it's not like a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I was reminded, much like a Bob Ross painting, it sort of looks terrible until uh, the end, and then you're like, oh, Bob Ross, that's what you were doing. So this makeup look is going to be a little bit like a Bob Ross painting. It's going to look a little strange until you get to the end. Just look at my dress for inspiration. Yeah. Actually, that's a really good idea. If you can see Molly's dress, the really cool thing about galaxies are it sort of starts off in a purple and then goes up in the prism of rainbow color. So, logically, I'm going to head towards a darker pink to make the transition from the purples. Where purple meets skin, use this absolutely lovely pink color. It's more like painting than it is like applying typical eye makeup. Just because it's a little more difficult to put eyeshadow on eyebrows, we're going to prime her eyebrows with this white primer. I want to do 
a really pretty bright electric pink on her eyebrows. I've been reading uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy recently, which sort of inspired this. <laughs> sort of inspired this. Yeah. I like talking dolphins. I'm going to bring the pink into the eyebrow. <laughs> you can see all the spots that I screwed up on Mallory's couch. I'm going to move on into an orange, and this is sort of going to highlight. And under her eyes, we're going to round out and blur out the edges with this really bright color. So you can see we sort of still have these harsh lines, and what I'm going to do is use a gray to blend. That feels weird. Does it feel Yeah, bad? it feels weird. I'm not used to having makeup put on my forehead. Feels like you're like marking me for brain surgery. <laughs> I like using you as like a canvas. Yes. I was gonna say arm holder, but <laughs> oh. both. So at the top of the gray, we're going to fade into some blues. Which are another color in the universe, in fact. <laughs> Things you learned on one-up makeup. I'm going to sort of dip into lighter color to sort of blend out into the skin tone. I'm so excited to just turn into cosmic dust. Float away. I think we have our basis for our galaxy. Woo! And now, what <coughs> every galaxy needs, stars. So, stars can be made in any number of ways. The first way I'm going to start out is with some MAC glitter. And I'm going to just apply it in the part that is the darkest, because that's where the stars will show. But this is really, really thick glitter. And it's going to coat like little stars. But as I said, there's lots of fun ways to add stars. So I have some white Sephora brand eyeliner. And then along the edges right here, we're going to make a couple nice little white planets. We're gonna give the planets a nice sheen by using the lightest color we have on our palette. I'm just gonna sort of put it over the dots we already created. All right, so that's it for our eye look. Now, the fun comes in doing a little bit of the rest of the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to contour her cheeks a little bit with this um, Coastal Sense Contour Blushes. I'm gonna take it and come in right under the apple of her cheek. And then we're gonna put a highlight along the tops of her cheeks. Another way you can get a nude lip if you don't have a lipstick is to use a little bit of concealer, which really gives you a good nude lip. Uh. <laughs> you get in your, <laughs> you get in your mouth. <laughs> okay, I like that. Nice and nude. Lip. Again, so the focus goes to the eyes. All right, I think we're done. 